first and foremost guys I want to talk before about any supplements or any other vitamins and minerals I want to talk about how your diet needs to be on point. So if you're gonna prevent pathogens like viruses, bacteria, molds, fungus, you really want to have your diet as streamlined and organic and plant-based as possible. I don't believe necessarily in veganism long-term for everyone. However, I do believe that most diets should be plant-based. Some people need more protein, some people need less, some people do very well on just fruits and veggies. Number one, if you are eating meat, I want you to be sure that you're getting antibiotic and hormone free as well as grass fed and free range beef, meats, chickens, all those things. If you need meat, make sure you're getting a clean source. It's super important. They're injecting these animals with antibiotics and hormones that then affect your hormones. And antibiotics in the animals can rupture the gut bacteria in your gut. So be sure you're eating clean sources of protein. Make sure you're eating tons of organic fruits and veggies, drinking at least your body weight in ounces of water a day super important and I also stress a water filter so you can get out a lot of toxic heavy metals pollutants fluoride things like that out of your water you also want to be sure you're getting at least 15 to 20 minutes of sunlight a day this is super important as you'll see later on when I talk about one supplement that gets activated by sunlight also Sleep, this is one of the most important things you can do. Your immune system regenerates at night, so if you're not getting eight hours of sleep a night, like me lately, <laughs> then you are prone to have infections and your immune system can't keep up and are, is not able to fight off some of these pathogens that make us feel so awful, especially in the winter. Last but not least, stress. So if you're constantly working, constantly in your head, ruminating over things, or an overthinker, overanalyzer, you really are putting undue stress on your body and your mind, and this can also predispose you to infections. Stress is really a killer, guys. It's no joke. So be sure you're taking care of yourself. You can't serve from an empty vessel, and you want to make sure that your stress levels are on point, your, your sleep is on point, your diet is on point. This is how you prevent sickness, especially in the winter when all these bugs are going around. So without further ado, let me get to the supplements. What I want to talk about is one of my favorites. It's colloidal silver. And this is actually not my favorite brand. My favorite brand is Argentin 23, which has a smaller and more absorbable nanoparticle um, that's really useful. This brand is one I just picked up at the store just a little while ago for the video, you guys, but it still works great. The reason colloidal silver works is because it's antibacterial and antiviral. And if you didn't know, hospitals actually use this at IV lines and Foley catheters throughout the country because it is so antipathogenic. So very, very antibacterial, antiviral. In case of an acute infection, this is great. You want to use it up to six times a day when you're sick. My favorite, vitamin C. If you guys follow me, you know I get IV vitamin C's just as kind of prevention um, when I'm at work and they keep away a lot of viruses for me especially. The reason I picked up this brand is because it's buffered and you don't have to get Solar Rays brand, however you want to get a vitamin C that doesn't just say ascorbic acid. This is made in a lab and it's not quite as efficacious as if you get it from a plant, fruit, or vegetable source. So look for Acerola or Amla. And Amla is the highest source of vitamin C from a fruit and you guys will see great benefits with this. In an acute infection, let's say you have the flu or a virus, you want to make sure that you take up to 1,000 milligrams or more a day, 1,000 to 1,500 to really knock the virus out. Uh, so vitamin C, make sure you get the right brand from the right source. It does work wonders and many of us are deficient in it. Zinc. Zinc is super important, guys. Most of us are deficient in zinc. There's actually a zinc test where you can buy a standard process, take a little liquid. If it tastes uh, bitter, then that means that you have enough zinc in your body. If it tastes like water, as soon as you put it in your mouth, your body's sucking it up into the actual taste buds and into the bloodstream so you don't taste the bitterness of the zinc. Zinc is super important to form hydrochloric acid in the gut so that you can absorb proper minerals and vitamins, and it works wonders for treating infections as well. Vitamin D3. If you guys have had your labs checked, we know about one out of three people is deficient in vitamin D3. I really like my patients to have their levels between 50 and 80. And it's wonderful to fight infections as well. 
It helps boost the immune system. It has a lot of different benefits. Also, you need to get a little bit of sunlight to activate the vitamin D in your body. So be sure to check your levels and have your doctor check them and supplement if needed. Usually around 2,000 IUs a day is sufficient. Lysine. So this goes hand in hand with vitamin C. It's wonderful um, for, to fight viruses and infections. And actually is very, very useful in things like cold sores and all sorts of viruses like the flu or colds. So it's synergistic with vitamin C. So make sure you get yourself some lysine as well. It's an amino acid, guys. Astralagus. I actually use this in my Hormone Master. It's wonderful for balancing hormones and revving up natural immunity. You guys will find astralagus as a liquid extract or tincture or in a pill form. And it's used in a lot of Chinese medicine because of how efficacious it is, it is at fighting pathogens. So astralagus is super important. Next is a mushroom immune supplement. If you guys don't know, mushrooms are some of Mother Nature's most wonderful, wonderful supplements to take to rev up your natural immunity. It's almost like um, taking a multivitamin every day to prevent viruses or bacteria. The one I have here is by Host Defense, and it contains a number of different mushrooms, including reishi, which is in my microbiome master, turkey tail, which we use in Gerson, shaga, mataki, all different types of mushrooms like this. Um, actually, Organic Olivia makes a mushroom supplement that is quite impressive as well. Next, olive leaf. So olive leaf is also great as an immune supplement. You guys will find in a lot of studies that it can shorten the duration of colds and viruses as well. And it's used in a lot of different herbal tinctures from China to help people with immunity. So olive leaf extract, I really like this brand, which is Wild Harvest, um, made in Oregon. So if you guys uh, can't find olive leaf, make sure you find something um, or a brand that has no extra fillers like MSG or maltodextrin. Echinacea, of course. So again, echinacea is also in my microbiome master, which is a great immune supplement in itself because it works on the gut where all your immune cells are. This is a tincture I got, I picked up at the store for you guys. Echinacea, there's a multitude of studies done by the NIH that shows that echinacea can shorten the duration of colds and flus and rev up natural immunity. It actually works in synergy with vitamin C as well. So echinacea is something great for you guys to pick up as well. Last but not least, I wanted to tell you guys about a great raw local honey that my friend Eleni makes. Um, check out the healthyeatingchick.com where she sells this wonderful honey from her own personal bee farm. You can't beat that. So if you're not vegan and you are looking for something to rev up immunity, honey is something wonderful to add a tablespoon or two to your tea every night. Make sure it's organic. And um, this is a wonderful immune boosting supplement that also helps you sleep at night. So check out some honey. And um, I hope that all the supplements I talked about today help you with colds and flus and viruses. This is what I do if I get sick with a flu or a virus, and I hope that it helps you guys rev up your own natural immunity too. Because there's nothing wrong with your body if you're getting sick. We live in a very toxic world, and your immune system can fix anything if given the right tools. All we need to do is figure out what it's missing and how we can help it along. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and I hope that you are becoming your own best doctor. Thanks for watching.